Yeah, I think this is a much better thing to do today. Mailbag Monday returns. Let's see what this stuff is. Let's start with this one. It says diodes quantity one worth five US dollars. Hmm. Huh. That seems a little high for my usual purchasing standards. It is six, looks like LED driver modules or power supplies or something. Ah, get off. Wow. That's a lot of packaging. Surprisingly large amount. Okay, they are in fact LED drivers. Oh. Uh, three watt or uh, one to three times one watt or I guess up to three watt focus better no that's the best we can do okay AC input between 85 and 225 volts 50 or 60 Hertz tenth of an amp greater than 80 percent efficiency uh, between 6 and 13 volts output, 300 milliamps. Um, origin. China, of course. All the usual things. Okay. And I got oh, five of them. One, two, three, four, five. For five bucks. Okay, well, that's not an unreasonable number, I guess. Let's see what's in here. That was easy. Can I get it any tighter? Okay. So, bridge rectifier, capacitor, uh, electrolytic capacitor, 400 volt, 3.3 .3 microfarad. Um, oh, control chip of some description or oh, resistor capacitor yeah, blah, blah, blah. transformer hmm that's probably a diode package and then out okay just a basic little switching power supply have to find some uh, Three one watt or one three watt LED to try this on. Power supply driver for LED light lamp bulb three hundred milliamp one to three watt five watt ten watt twenty watt thirty watt eighty five to two hundred sixty five volts. Uh huh. Um, I bought this from Tia Chongyai. Uh, that guy. Um. Got five of them. Um, I chose the one to three times one watt LEDs, and the five of them cost me six eighty nine Canadian. And what do we have to say about them down here? Size, yeah, wattage, okay, all the basic specs. Um, output voltage three to eleven volts. Okay, so I can put um, three or four. Um, white LEDs in series, three I guess, um, or as few as one. Hmm, that's interesting. I guess it's constant current, isn't it, rather than constant voltage, so that would, that would explain that. It puts out a, or it allows up to 300 milliamps uh, constant current, and then varies the voltage, which is how constant current works. Alright, next thing in. This surface mount device LED, and I can't see what the rest of the lies are. Just have to take a peek. Oh, oh! Looks like okay. LED packages, Cobb LEDs. Hmm. 
I wonder if I ordered these at the same time as I ordered those drivers. Hmm. They've got a kind of silicone-y surface to them. Um, I'm not sure. Well, let's zoom in a little bit here. See if you can see it. What I'm seeing is there's one, two, three, four, five, six chips in there. Um, and a positive and negative. I huh, wonder what it takes to light these up. Oh, what have we got? Uh, there's actually one still stuck in the bag. I've got ten of them. Okay. All right, let's try and light them up. I've got my power supply set to 12 volts and limited to about 40 milliamps right now. That's something, and it's current limiting. Uh, with the current limiting, it's drawing the voltage down to 8.6 volts. So I'm going to adjust this to take the voltage down. Well, okay. Assuming we've got six LEDs in series, let's assume there's three volts per LED. Um, so that's that six, well, that's 18 volts. Okay, so my 12 volt supply, I guess I'll, I'll leave that at 12. Come on. And I'll raise the current limiting to maybe 90. And we'll see what happens. It's a little brighter. And they're still current limiting at 90. Um, it's still drawing the voltage down to about 9 volts. Okay. So let's turn the current up to about 150. See what happens. Still goes into current limiting and still drawing about 9.4 or so. Hmm, okay. Should probably go and take a look at the listing, see what they actually are before I punish them too much harder. 10 pieces 3 watt pure white cob high power LED roundness LED light emitting diode LED. Uh huh. From Chip World. I bought from them several times. I was the one and only bidder on this one and got it for $1.50 American or $1.86 Canadian, which I'm guessing is just a few cents above what their starting bid was. Um, let's see if I can find some specs down here. Color temperature 6000 to 6500 Kelvin, 300 to 400 lumens, forward voltage 9.6 to 10.5 volts. That's kind of what I was finding, wasn't it? And these are 3 watt, which means their forward current is 260 milliamps. Um, viewing angle 120 to 140 degrees. Yeah, I guess that kind of silicone coating on them does dissipate it or die. Uh, the spread it out, whatever that word is. Not much more to say about them, I guess. Okay, so set my power supply for 10 volts exactly. Set the current limiting for 260 milliamps. Set that. Okay, and let's see what happens. Nice and bright. Just barely going into current limiting. Let me see if I can use one hand to keep that lit. Stay lit. Come in. And use the other hand. So it is currently limiting at 260 milliamps, and that is drawing it down to 9.83 volts. Let's see what happens if we... I've still got it limited to 10 volts, so it's not going to get too crazy. Let's see where the current limiting comes off. Uh, 300 milliamps. Is that much brighter? I don't think so. 
It is getting a little bit warm in my hand, though. Ooh. That's getting warm. Take it back down to where it's supposed to be. Okay. Oh, yeah. Now that's warm. Cool. So since those are 3 watt, and those are... Well, no, they're... They can have a 1 to 3, 1 watt. Hmm. So those aren't going to work with those perfectly well. I'll have to see what I got for 1 watt LEDs around here. Next item in. Uh, gift electronic components, no commercial value. Mm -hmm. As usual, lies, lies, and lies. Modules. Hello, little modules. What are you? Comes with the heat sink. That's promising. <sighs> Come on, get out of there. Hey, what do we got for markings on this little guy? Will you focus? Direction, step, sleep, reset, MS1, or MS321, enable, ground, VCC, 1AB, 2AB, ground, V motor. Hmm. Direction and step kind of gives it away, doesn't it? I'm thinking these are stepper motor drivers. What does that say there? That says A49. Eight eight or eight B. Hang on. What does that say if we can read it? H R four nine eight eight and a little nine zero after it, but I think that's the main part. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm I'm gonna guess based just on the markings on the back that that's a stepper motor driver. I don't know exactly what that guy is, possibly speed. And this heat sink is a little oversized for that chip, but I think that's okay. Oh, and the heat sinks are adhesive back too, so that's nice. I'll just gonk onto there. Let's go check the listing. Five pieces A4988 stepper motor driver module 3D printer, Polu, step stick ramps, rep wrap. Uh huh. Um, from King Electronics 15. I bought the five of these for $6.13. Um, I bought them back in September and it took almost three months for them to get here. Um, and then they were sitting on my shelf for a little while. But uh, now I've got them. Let's see what it has to say about them. Breakout board for the A4988 micro stepping driver chip, which has translator and overcurrent protection. Read the data sheet. I shall. Um, operates bipolar stepper motors in half quarter and eighth and sixteenth step modes with an output drive capacity of up to 35 volts, 2 amps. All right. So all you have to do is give it a step in a dire and a direction and pulse the step and it will do all the magic of the any PWM that's needed. It will pull the lines high and low in the correct sequence. You don't have to do all that with your microcontroller. So you offload that to here. It's got a bridge of MOSFETs inside it to drive them. And then these MS1, 2, and 3 pins just control which micro-stepping mode you're in. Um, so basically that's for how much precision you want in your rotation. Okay, another one where I can't see what's going on under there, but it says plastic, patch, and then I can't read the rest of it. So, oh, some little surface mount ICs. This is going to take some zooming and magnifying glassing to find out, I guess. There we go. 74HC4051D. 
no memories have to go and figure that out from the listing I guess five pieces 74 HC 4051 D SOP 16 um, and we'll just restate that again SMD 8 channel analog multiplexer D multiplexer AT from Alice 11 1983 I was the only bidder on this one and I got the five of them for 86 cents I'm guessing I was just doing a late night uh, beer induced bidding on random stuff things but 8 channel analog multiplexer demultiplexer not much to say down there it's on a SOP 16 which I believe I have some breakout boards for but let's look at the uh, data sheet um, it is essentially a single pole octal throw analog switch SP8T. So picture an eight position rotary switch, but in digital form. That's what this is. You can put analog voltages through it between um, minus five and plus five volts, including audio, or um, you can put digital signals through there if you want to measure digital signals for. Um, for whatever reason or select between a bunch of them perhaps you've got um, eight sensors or something and you want to you don't want to tie up eight pins on your Arduino you can just tie up the the um, addressing pins for this thing um, and run several of them well, that sounds interesting what I'm probably going to use it for though is uh, if I need to measure eight different voltages using one analog input or if I want to select between eight different audio sources to go into an amplifier that kind of stuff um, let's uh, scroll down here a little bit and see what other see if we can find anything to okay so there's the layout of it you've got your three address pins um, and three binary bit or three binary digits can give you uh, zero to seven or eight different states. Um, we have Y zero to Y seven, which is the eight selectable inputs or outputs. Yeah, and you can run it bidirectionally if you want. Um, and then the Z input or output. Um, logic level conversion one of eight decoder. So basically, this will put a control signal to one of these little switch blocks and whichever one is activated will connect that its Y to the Z. Now back up here in the specs for a second, sorry I'm bouncing around, uh, typical on resistance um, at, with a four and a half volt uh, supply voltage VCC you'll see around 80 ohms resistance. That's not optimum there's going to be some loss in there but if you're in a high impedance audio circuit that's bugger all um, if you were measuring voltages presumably you would uh, want to buffer those uh, and compensate for the resistant the internal resistance of it so maybe it's not so good for instrumentation but if you're reading binary from something that's fine uh, these things are typically Depending on the uh, VCC, 170 to 180 megahertz uh, that they're capable of passing. So that's, again, for hell, that's that's uh, medium RF. You could switch antennas with this thing. Okay, I think this will be the last one for today. Let's see what this is. I already tried to peek inside and didn't see anything on the label. So some wires and something else. Let's find out what the something else is first. Hmm. This looks like a water detection module, uh, which is two pieces. And it comes with its own depot wires, which is always nice. So clearly that connects to there. This guy sits in the area that uh, you want to measure the moisture of. Um, either hovering above the water in a sump pit maybe or 
stuck in a plant pot or stuck in the dirt or something uh, in your garden. Connects to there and uh, threshold adjustment, I'm guessing. And what do we got on here? Are those labeled? Yeah, they are. Can we read them? Hey, VCC ground D0 and A0. Okay. And this is just a, a ground and control. And to this side, just... Yeah, come on. And that just basically one pin goes to each electrode. Neat. Okay. To the listing and description. Let's see if we can figure out, figure out what's going on on this board. Actually, hang on here. Before I do that. Chip, chip, what are you? Oh, 398. Oh, just an op amp. Okay, so all this is really doing is amplifying. Unless it's being used as a comparator, then it's threshold measuring. Hmm. To the listing. Okay, they've deleted their listing on it, so I can't show you the exact listing, but this is in my history. Soil Humidity Hygrometer Moisture Detector Sensor Module Arduino with Wires TR. I wonder what those last two letters mean. Several of these listings have two weird letters. Anyway, I paid 32 cents. I'm going to guess at that price that it was probably... An auction let's see if I can find something similar all right here's one from another seller which is a fixed price and more money let's see if they've got a decent description of it they do well not bad operating voltage 3.3 .3 to 5 volts okay so you could use it with your uh, ESP 266 or uh, traditional Arduino uh, VCC ground D0 is a digital output interface 0 or 1 a 0 an analog output interface uh, soil moisture module is most sensitive to ambient humidity used to do moisture content to the soil. Okay. Uh, oh, it is a threshold. Uh, module reach threshold, D0 set to high. When it gets, exceeds, it goes to low. Put the output to low, okay. Um, analog output module connected through the A to D converter, you can get a per more precise m measurement value. Hmm. The OM393, I was wrong. It is, in fact, a dual differential comparator, not an op-amp. So any analog voltage that's going to that analog pin is coming directly from the sensor. There's no transistors or anything amplifying anything on that board. It's completely a comparator. And I took a little bit closer look at the board, and only one side of the dual comparator is being used. So it's literally just comparing the voltage that it's seeing off the probe, which is, and that voltage is basically voltage divided between whatever resistance is in the soil and a resistor on the board. Um, and it hits its threshold, and the comparator flips states. So the analog voltage is, I guess, going to be a measurement of that current. Strange. Have to play with that at some point, I guess. Well, obviously I'm going to play with it. That's why I bought it. And the other thing that was in that package is these wires here. Let's begin and find out what those are. Okay. Male and females of, oh, those are tight. Arr! Males and females of the standard coaxial power connector that seems to be used in just about everything for arduino -y world these days. Um, I should be able to, yep. It's, ah, those girly side ones are really tight. Out of the gutter, you. The male ones seem to fit pretty well into a standard connector. I wonder why those female ones are so tight. Is there any rubberiness in there or is it just... Oh, it's just the outer side is kind of 
built as a bit of a coil. Okay. Anyway, those would just be handy for for sticking projects together and stuff. Again, more shop stock. Um, if you're if you're anything like me, um, you want to be able to come down to your shop when inspiration to mess around strikes and have the parts you need to do whatever, whatever project you think you'd like to do without having to order and wait and go and find and whatnot. And just go over to the pile of stuff, the, uh, the, all the bins and parts cabinets and stuff that you saw in that video a week or so ago. Um, and just grab what you want and make your project. No messing around doesn't get in the in the way of your flow just having fun in the shop right if you have to stop and wait for a month that kind of gets in the way of your jam doesn't it yeah that's that's how i think anyways let's see what these things cost and from the same seller trailblazer 001 asterisk 2009 um I got 10 pieces, simple, useful, male, plus female, DC, power, socket, jack, plug, connector, 12 volts. Um, paid $2.86 for these. So 28 cents a wire or 50 cents-ish a pair. Seems reasonable enough. And yeah, it fits with all these uh, 2.1 by 5.5 millimeter jacks that are so common and standard in Arduino world these days. Um, 5 amp rating. That wire seems a little skinny for 5 amps, but uh, they claim to be good for up to 38 volts, and since I'm probably never going to be using them over about 20, that's fine. Yeah, so 5 pieces male, 5 pieces female. What else is there to say? And there's this time's uh, mailbag haul. Cool variety of stuff once again. Some late night beer induced purchases, but it's all going to be fun to play with. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.